this is a model of benzene molecule so as what you can see all the six carbons on a same plane so this benzene is like a planar molecule all right so now i'm going to find out the symmetry elements operation for this molecule so first i'm going to label the carbons this is carbon one two three four five and six and i'm going to mark the hydrogen all right so because benzene is planar molecule so the first i'm going to find out the rotation for this molecule so i find out the axis passing through the six member ring carbons all right so this exists we can rotate 360 degree and also because the six membered ring carbons this benzene looks like hexagon so it means that we can cut into six parts for this molecule and for each part has an angle 60 degree right so it means that on the same axis we can rotate 60 degree so as what you can see here let's say i want to move this is the starting so i want to move 60 degree i will get the same configuration and Actually, we can also rotate 120 degree through the same axis. So, let's say I start here and I will end up here. I hold here. Hundred twenty, and then. On the same axis as well, I can rotate 180 degree. So it means that 3 times of 60 degree. So start from here. Should be I will end up. Oh sorry, move here. Alright. So it means that on the same axis, we can have c1 for 360 and we can have c6 for 60 degree we can have c3 for 120 degree and we can have c2 for 180 degree so we just draw a point it means that passing through the ring center of the ring and then we can label as C1, C2, C3, and C6. Alright. And then we look at this molecule. Actually, we can have another C2 axis, which is the axis can passing through the carbon carbon. Alright. So it means that this exists passing through the carbon 1 and carbon 4. So, we look here in the middle. So, we can rotate 180 degree through this axis. So, just imagine like this. Right? This axis passing through the carbon-carbon and we can rotate 180. So, we get the same configuration. Alright, so it means that the axis 
C to exist can be here through the carbon 1, carbon 4 and also the exist, C to exist can be here through the carbon 3, carbon 6 and also C to exist can be here through carbon 2 and carbon 5. So it means that 3 C to exist passing through the carbon carbon in the 6 membered ring carbon. Alright. Another thing, we can also observe another kind of C to exist which is passing through the bond which is here. Alright. So it means that this exists passing through the bond between carbon-carbon here and carbon-carbon there. So the exists passing through and again we can rotate 180 degree. So just imagine like this. So we rotate the molecule. We get the same configuration. Alright. So as what you can see actually. C2 exists passing through here and also can passing through here and also passing through here. So, total 3 C2 exists. So, generally, as what we can see just now, there are 6 C2 exists passing through all here. So, we can draw like this. So, the first C2 exists passing through the carbon-carbon. So, another kind of C2 exists passing through between the carbon-carbon bond. So, there are 6 C2 exists. Alright, so the main exist for this molecule is C6. Okay, now we find out the reflection. So we need to find out the plane. So, because this is planar molecule, so this is the main exist, which is C6. So, we find out that this molecule has a plane that cutting through all atoms. Cutting through all the hydrogen, the carbon atoms. So this kind of plane actually perpendicular with the main axis. Alright? So it means that this plane is horizontal plane. Okay? So let's say it's like a mirror. Okay, so we reflect, we get the same molecule and perpendicular with the main axis. So this is horizontal plane. So we just draw like this, the whole label as sigma H. Alright, so actually we have another plane. So... Because this is main exists. So another plane is the plane that cutting through the carbon-carbon. For example here, carbon 1 and carbon 4. So cut through the molecule, we will get the same configuration after the reflection. Alright? And it means that we can also cut through carbon 3 and carbon 6 and also through the carbon 2 and carbon 5. So this plane actually known as vertical plane because this plane parallel with the main exists. C6 exists. Okay. And this kind of plane cutting through the carbon-carbon in this molecule. Alright. So, I'm using another color. So, here. Sigma V. Alright. 
and then I notice that this molecule also has another plane which is cutting through the carbon-carbon bond so it means that like this yes cutting through the carbon-carbon bond here so see we get the same configuration after the reflection so this plane also cutting through the carbon-carbon bond at the same time is parallel with the main axis C6 axis and another thing this plane bisect the two fold of the axis two fold axis it means that bisect the C2 axis and also you can see bisect the angle the angle is 60 degree here 60 degree here so this kind of plane cut the angle which is bisect the angle and also bisect the two fold axis and this plane parallel with the main axis so this plane is known as dihedral or diagonal plane so here and here and also here so there are three diagonal planes all right so we can label here sigma d sigma d and the last one here three diagonal planes all right so now we want to find out the center of symmetry so because this molecule has a ring so we assume that the center of this molecule should be in the center of the ring so it should be in the middle here so if we put the center here so we just imagine that carbon 1 carbon 4 here we can inverse through this center of symmetry we will get the same configuration yes and then again carbon 2 carbon 5 we inverse through this center of symmetry we get the same configuration and also between carbon 6 and carbon 3 inverse through this center of symmetry we will get the same configuration all right so it means that this molecule has center of symmetry so you can label in the middle here center of symmetry so you can also look at the hydrogen so hydrogen here hydrogen here so you can also inverse the hydrogen here between this one and this one through the center of symmetry so we will get again the same configuration so you can check for these two hydrogen atoms and also these two hydrogen atoms inverse through the center of the molecule we get the same configuration so because this molecule has center of symmetry so it should be this molecule has s2 symmetry elements operation all right and then because this molecule has c3 so we want to check s3 so the c3 here the axis c3 axis so we rotate 120 so start from here we end up here all right and then we reflect so should be the plane is perpendicular with the axis with the c3 axis so we cut through all atoms yes we get the same molecule because this benzene is planar all right so it means that this molecule has s3 and then we check this molecule has c6 so how about s6 all right again so this is the c6 exists so we start from here and should be end up here so we rotate 60 degree and then the plane should be perpendicular with the c6 exists 
So again, because the molecule is planar, so this plane cutting through all atoms. And we get the same configuration after rotate and reflection. And then we can conclude that this molecule has C, sorry, S6 symmetric elements operation. Okay, so now we can list all the symmetric elements operation for this benzene molecule. So also can have C1 and also how many C2, alright, so 6 C2 around here and 1 C2 passing through the ring, so 7 C2 and 1 C3 and 1 C6, rotation exists. And then this molecule has a uh, 1 horizontal plane and then 3 sigma v and 3 sigma diagonal. Okay? Alright. So, and also, last but not least, this molecule has identity. Okay? Alright. So, that's all the symmetric elements operation for this benzene molecule.